the XP, this one is the XC. The question is, would a Terminator like to sit on a motorcycle, the one that has a windscreen right now? It's called the Komaki Ranger XP. And the other one is XE. Now, welcome to Launch Alert, the show where we talk about interesting latest vehicles hitting the Indian roads. And quite interesting are these two cruiser electric motorcycles from Komaki. EV cruisers that are made in India but have tech that comes from the land of the rising sun, they say. Let's find out how that's true. Komaki launched the first version of the Ranger back in year 2021 when all of us had just begun coming out of the lockdown then I would presume. Making it the perfect time for a quiet cruiser to come along on our roads. However, in 2023, they launched the XC and the XP, not the Windows XP. XP versions. Now, these new cruisers come with two ranges. The XE, which is that motorcycle there without the windscreen, it has a range of 160 to 180 kilometers. And the XP has, obviously, it looks like the bigger brother of the XC, it has a range of 200 to 250 kilometers. I know cruisers are supposed to look big and buff and uh, feel comfortable and sound like a Gatling cannon. But hear me out, these things are electric cruisers, so they're not going to sound anything like that. But they have a trick up their sleeve because, well, a lot of us don't like to really embrace and adopt the electric future because we say, yeah, sound nahi aega. how will it sound like a cruiser, you know? What about the Gatling gun-like sound, thump, 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 bum, bum, bum? Well, these two motorcycles here, they not only look like proper hogs with saddlebags, protectors at the front and the back and chrome in all the right places, they also offer you sound and uh, there's flames spitting out the back. Three, two, one, let's go! So yes, the Komaki twins are equipped with sound pipes for that motorcycle engine growl. You'll miss the vibration for good, but you won't miss the sound of a motorcycle. Mm, the world is really coming to this, folks, and it's up to you whether you dig it or not. Moreover, the XC with its 160 to 180 kilometer range also offers 30 liters of storage space. And then the XP with its 200 to 250 kilometers of range offers you 60 liters of luggage space. Perfect then for all those long breakfast rides that you may be undertaking if you were to be in its saddle. And these cruisers are the next step in the EV evolution as well because well they are the first EV cruisers to boast a 7 inch TFT screen with an onboard navigation, Bluetooth calling of course you'll get that and they are also equipped with adjustable rear suspension and a self diagnosis module. But forget the specs, let's talk about what will matter to most of the riders if we were to be really putting our hard earned money on something like this. The EVs of today are getting as comfy as they can be but what really matters is the rideability and the rideability should be good. Now the fact that you won't have a vibrating engine between your legs here is actually quite good for comfort. Sure, I could delve into all the techie details but then uh, my job is just to let you know that this has been launched in our market. This is a launch alert so let's keep it real. Head over to the internet and find out more things about it. What I'll do is however share or have you know the price on these motorcycles. It's rupees 1,68,000 on the XE, the smaller sibling there, and rupees 1,84,000 on the XP. I'm curious whether, you know, there will also be a market for modifications for the cruisers. Usually that tends to be a big market for cruisers. Will electric cruisers also have mod market? Let me know in the comment section below. These are eco-friendly mile munchers. Hope that inspires you. Let me know what you think about the motorcycles. I will sign off for now. Thank you so much. Uh, this bike is ready. Is full charge? Hai? Okay, thanks. Goodbye.